a big night for you here, Dean Brown, uh, Retailer of the Year, Head Professional of the Year. Um, you know, what do those awards mean to you? Uh, they're both very special awards. Um, you know, I, I would have liked to have articulated that to the room a little bit, but I get a little caught up in those moments. Uh, they're both uh, not only personal awards, but team awards. You know, they're both awards that I think reflect on the people that are around me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm the leader, but those guys are the ones that are executing the events that we run at the club, and those guys are the ones that are that are in the trenches selling all the product for merchandise out of the shop and providing the services to the members. So they're both very special awards for both personally and as, as a team. Yeah, I never got to ask you this the last time we just did this, <laughs> but uh, you know, there was a little message from Paul that read from about Graham, right? Graham wasn't here tonight. I know that uh, touched you, obviously, a big mentor of yours. Yeah. Uh, Graham and I go way back. Yeah. Early 80s, right? Hey, that's what I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that camp he was referring to, I think, was 1986. Uh, that's when I first met him at the Wascana. Uh, I was just a junior back then, and Graham Coulter was the head pro at the private club in town. You know, big personality, big, big voice, the beltless slacks, the alligator skin shoes, the whole night, like the typical golf pro. I think he was maybe just starting as the president of the PGA of Canada at that time. And then, you know, had a, he was a great mentor of mine when I was younger, both playing and how to become a golf professional. I never actually worked for Graham, but, but definitely learned a lot from Graham about, about the business and, and how to be a, conduct yourself as a golf professional and what that meant. Yeah, for sure, you mentioned he was a private club, and you, know, yeah, you get a you retail of the year at, at a private club, right? You don't have those everyday greens. Fee players, obviously guests come and whatnot, but you don't have that everyday traffic. So I think it's a little bit more difficult to you know, really be successful like you have been. Yeah, we're, we're servicing to a, a select group of people for sure. Uh, it's not just your consumer off the street, it's it's the members and, and part of the deal at the club is that you build up trust with the members and, and you know, they're spending their hard-earned money first and foremost to join the club and then when they make the decision to buy some new product or take golf lessons or whatever, you know, you want to provide that next level of service and I think my guys have, have done a great job of that. Um, not so much me anymore because I'm, I'm, I'm caught up in the business side of it and the running of the events and I'm in the meetings and they're the guys that are on the front lines executing and they're the ones that are out there at the demo days now and working on the fittings and, and all that. I try to still do it as much as I can but it's 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 a total team that we run with and and I think uh, I think it's 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 a positive reflection on that team not just me. For sure, I know you've got a great team there, and you know a lot of people maybe know you from your playing career, right? Uh, one of the greatest players we've had in this province. But are you proud of the retail side and what you've really built there? Yeah, I, I think I've built a really nice little business, and and one with a lot of repeat customers that come back. Uh, so that that tells me they've trusted the job we've done, you know, fitting them for their clubs. And and I've always been a big believer, and that went back to Gord Burgess when I worked for Gordy that every club that goes out the door is fitted. So we, you know, if you're gonna buy a club at, at, at the Royal Regina, you're gonna, we're confident when you walk out the door, you've got the right club in your hands and that we haven't just sold you whatever whatever clubs on the rack that day. And, and, and that extends through every part of it, through our shoe sales, our clothing sales. We just, we provide a service and, and hopefully we're rewarded with loyalty and, and I'm seeing that loyalty, so it's it's awesome. Hey, you talk about all that buying, we're here at the buying show and obviously yeah. this awards, uh, you know, what's this kind of, what's this event mean to you and really just a nice way to you know to wrap up year 125 for you at the club yeah it is a, it's a it's a great event uh, our buying show here it's a chance to make partners with with a lot of different vendors obviously you need to have those good partnerships with the vendors in order to provide the service to your members whether it's fitting equipment or or warranty issues or whatever so you build those relationships at events like this and and uh, you know, this is a great networking event, not only just business, but networking. Tonight you'll see a lot of that. The, the room won't empty for a long time. Guys will sort of funnel around. It's not real clicky. Everyone kind of talks to everybody. It's, it's a great event. There's ways to grow the game, right? You talk about obviously juniors and getting kids into it, but growing the association. You know, young Aiden Shanks was here. I've obviously yeah. watched Aiden grow up. Uh, you know, and obviously Rick, you know, has been here with you for years, but yeah. nice to just spread it down and, and maybe Aiden is here one day too. Yeah, absolutely, and that's that's what you hope. You know, uh, Garrett McMillan that worked for me for a number of years, he got an award tonight for Teacher of the Year. Very proud of that. Uh, 
you know, Aiden someday, yeah, hopefully someday Aiden is up here get winning professional of the year. Or winning. He's got a bright future. He's a young guy just sort of starting out in the business and events like this, he'll, he'll get to meet a ton of people that he hasn't met yet, interact with some sales reps, see, see the business side of it, not just the pro shop side of it, but what goes on outside the walls and, and yeah, hopefully uh, mature in the business and, and sort of see what's in his future. Yeah, congratulations on a great year and a great night tonight. Yeah, thanks, Clark. I appreciate it.